Hey, Paulina here. Thank you for joining me in today's daily challenge workout. Um, for today's 10-minute workout, I have a booty burnout workout plan. So we'll be doing all exercises. I will be targeting our glutes. We will be doing five different exercises today. And the way that um, the workout is set up is that it will be as many rounds as possible for those 10 minutes. We'll be doing 15 reps for each exercise. And then once we finish doing all five of those exercises, we'll get 30 seconds of rest before we start the next round. And again, we'll just keep going all the way until that 10 minute timer is up. So I will go ahead and demo what our five exercises will be and then we'll get right into it. So we will start with a sumo squat position. So our feet will be outside of our hips, toes slightly angled at a 45 degree. And then we're going to come down into that squat and we're just going to pulse it out 15 times. So you're staying nice and low, just kind of bouncing up and down. And then once we're done, we will extend it up and move into our second exercise, which will be a one and a half rep hip thrust. So we will have our feet flat, legs bent, hands behind us, staying underneath our shoulders. We're going to keep those arms extended the entire time. We're going to lift our bottom off the ground and raise the hips up until it's nice and straight. We'll come down just halfway, and then we'll bring it back up, and then we'll lower it down right before our bottom touches the ground, and that will be one rep. So you're coming up for a full rep, and then half a rep, then back down, and that counts as one. Then we are going to turn it onto our side for a half side plank. So hand underneath that shoulder. We're going to bend both of our legs, keeping our feet together. We're just going to open up at the knees. So we're going to raise our hips up. And as we do that, we're going to open the knees, bring it back down, and then come on up. 15 reps of this. Then we will turn it over, coming into quadruped position, hands under the shoulders and knees under our hips. And we're going to keep our legs bent as we just raise our legs to come straight up. You're only going to come up to about your waist level. Bring it up and then come on down, stopping right before that knee touches the ground. And then our last exercise, we'll turn it over onto our back for a tiptoe bridge. So keeping our legs bent, backs on the floor, we're going to raise our heels off the ground so that we are on just our toes and we're just going to raise our hips up into that bridge nice straight line do not overextend so that you are curvy you just want it to be nice and straight then you'll bring it back down slowly tap the bottom really quickly and then bring it back up so you should bring it up nice and fast and then slowly in control bringing it down we will go ahead and get started though with our sumo squat pulse so our feet should be outside of our hips toes pointed we're going to bring it down and we are going to do 15 pulses and then we will move on from there again no rest until we are done with all five exercises and then we will get that 30 second break so go ahead and bring it into our sumo position we are going to drop it down in three two one let's bring it down one two three, four, five, just pulsing it out, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Go ahead, stand it on up, come down into that reverse tabletop position. We have our one and a half hip thrust, keeping those arms nice and straight. Let's bring it up, hips up, and then come down halfway, and then all the way back down. That's one. Full, half, that's two. Squeeze those glutes at the top. We have three done. Four, coming all the way up, halfway, back down. We just finished six. Trying to make it all the way up to 15. Eight, nine, ten, almost there, just five more, one and a half reps, two more to go, bring it up, 
halfway. And then we're on to our last one, all the way up, halfway. Whew, we are done. Let's turn it on to our side. We're going to start with our left hand down. Keep it underneath that shoulder. Bend those knees, keeping the feet together. Let's raise the hips up and open the knees. Coming up for one, back down, two. Keep those feet together. Three, four. We're up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, two, three, four, last one, five. Let's turn it over. We are on our right hand now. Bend those knees, feet together, hips up. We have one. Two, we're up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Awesome work. We are turning it over, hands and knees, keeping that leg bent. We're going to bring that right foot in the air. Come on up. One, two, three. I should be looking down. Keep that neck nice and neutral. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Bring that right knee down, left leg up. One, keep it bent. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Nine, almost there, almost to our last exercise. Two, three, four, and five. Let's turn it over, come into that bridge position, but lift the heels up. We are on our toes, hips up. One, two, squeeze those glutes at the top. Four. Five, six, keep those heels off the ground. We are staying on our toes. Coming back up, that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Let's go ahead, take that break. Fifteen seconds. Or 30 seconds, and then we will stand it back up for our second round with those sumo squats. 15 pulses. Our feet should be outside of our hips, toes pointed at that 45. We're going to bring it down. Our rest is done in 10 seconds. We are coming down in 3, 2, one, bring it down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bring it up. We're coming into that reverse table. One and a half reps for those hip thrusts. Keep those arms extended. Raise the hips up. One and then a half. That's one. And then a half. Don't forget that half wrap just to make those glutes work just a little bit longer. We have four done. Keep your chin towards your chest. Six, seven. Keep those eyes 
looking forward, don't look up, that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, feeling my glutes working, we just have one more, bring it up, halfway, 15, let's turn it over into that left hand, feet together, knees opening, keep those legs bent, we're raising it up, hips up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Two, three, four, last one. Bring it up and then back down. We are switching nice and quick into that right arm. Get in position. We're coming up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Turn it over, hands and knees, bringing that right leg up, keep it bent. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, five more, almost there, that's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, bring that right knee down, left up, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Turn it over, bridge position with those heels. Though we are on our toes, hips up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze those glutes at the top. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We can rest. Who grab a quick sip of water, and that will actually bring us to the end of our 10 minutes. Wow, perfect timing. Two rounds for our booty burnout. I hope your bottom was feeling it, working it up. We will go ahead, come into a quick little cool down. So we will go ahead and start that cool down on our backs, keeping our legs bent, feet flat. We're just going to cross that right foot over the left, pick the left leg up in your hand as we come into this right piriformis stretch. If you need that deeper stretch, just pull that left leg closer towards you. Take a nice big deep breath in for me. And then exhale it out. We'll go ahead, drop it down in three, two, one. Drop that left leg down, bring the right down, cross the left over, right leg in our hands, feeling that stretch in our left piriformis, pull that knee towards you. We have three, two, one. Let's go ahead, drop that right knee down. We are going to pick 
both of our feet up, bringing our feet together, knees open, just like we did with those clamshells. We're coming into this butterfly stretch on our back. Pull your heels towards your groin. If you want a deeper stretch, use those elbows to push the knees out. Stretching out our inner thighs. We have three, two, one. Go ahead, drop our feet back down to the ground as we slowly sit up. We're going to turn it over into quadruped position. Again, hands and knees. We're just going to step that right foot forward, coming into this low lunge, making sure that your right ankle and knee are aligned, stacked on top of each other, and then we are just going to sink our hips, stretching out our left hip flexor. And then let's go ahead, push the hips back, extend that right leg, lift the toes up, fold it forward into this hamstring stretch. You can place your hands on the ground to support you. If you need to take some of that pressure off of your back knee, you can just slightly bend that right leg. We are going to go ahead, push the hips back, drop those toes, step that right foot back, and then let's step the left forward, lean it into this hip flexor, and again, make sure that left knee, left ankle are nice and stacked on top of each other, aligned. Sinking our hips. And then we're going to push it back. Raise those toes, extend the left leg, fold it forward, hamstring stretch. Three, two, one. Let's push it back. We're going to step that left leg back into quadruped. We will raise our knees, coming into upside down V, downward dog. Pedal out those heels to stretch out your calves. And then we will go ahead and slowly walk those hands back to our feet. And vertebrae by vertebrae, we're going to slowly roll up. Count of five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, thank you for joining me in today's 10-minute workout. That is all I have for today. So make sure you tune in tomorrow to see what our next workout will be this month.